gorgeous human beings. And welcome to the trademark masterclass. Let me just have a look at you. Oh my gosh, such good looking people in the house today. I'm recognizing so many people I love and I know and I'm seeing so many new faces I haven't seen in a long time. Oh my gosh, Christy, I haven't seen you in so long. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, there's so many faces. I'm so happy you ladies are here. Okay, uh, so we are live streaming into two groups right now. We are streamlining directly into the Alpha Fem group. So if some of you prefer the Facebook Live vibe, you can be looking at looking at this directly on Facebook. And then we also have a special group for all the men who have decided to join. And so they have a special group for the men as well. So if you have any men in your life you think might be interested in this, please feel free to connect them as well because they can watch this in a special men, uh, special group for men as well. So I want to dive right into this. I'm so excited to lead this masterclass. This for me is one of the most exciting topics and the next three months in the alpha femme world are about to be some of the most next level months like this is the time to plug into my world right now these next three months are like the most exciting times people get so excited about this next this next chunk which is like the impact academy coach cash time in our world there's so much incredible content and it's all about helping you build and skyrocket your businesses as well and all the things that we've been doing what we've been using over the years to sharpen our brand to elevate the vibe to build what we've built and i'm just so open and generous with that because i really want to see us all thrive and the more people succeed around me, the more I want to innovate. And so it makes it fun for me. So I'm excited. There's going to be more millionaires made in the next three months near me than I've ever seen. There's going to be more success around us and all the brands and all the things that you've ever seen. Like the, the internet's going to blow up in the next three months and it's going to be so much fun to watch. So this masterclass is such a breath of fresh air because we're going to talk about real things. We are going to talk about energetics because my whole business is built on, you know, the structures and the energetics. But what's unique about these next three programs that's, that are coming into my world and why, why trademark is such an important masterclass to run is because this is about the understanding of how and what and why and, and how, you know, like what is, what creates big businesses like this? How is it that this works the way it does? And I'm kind of pulling the curtain back for you inside of this masterclass. Now, I do want to say during this masterclass, you can invite people at any point. It's not because we've started that people can't join. I was very low key on, oh, I think we're just starting to live stream now. Um, hello to everyone who's just jumping in with us. It's a pleasure to see you. So one of the things for me that was very important is the last masterclass that we did was the Le So Quantique masterclass and 10,000 people joined in a new group overnight and it crashed my entire social media. I got deleted off Facebook. Facebook was like, something's wrong. So we were very careful with this masterclass. I really only promoted it twice to be sure on Facebook, to be sure that it didn't go overboard. My intention with this one is that it grows over time. I'm going to give you a little more time to watch it. You're going to have more space. Plus it's inside the Alpha Femme group. So the group won't be closing. You will have access to all of these incredible connections and you'll be able to stay connected to the women inside of these group, this group long after it's gone, which is so exciting for the women who are inside of the Alpha Femme group. So this masterclass holds so much. And if you show up and you treat this like a real program as if you'd pay for it, you're going to get so much out of it. I'm going to be completely open and generous with this masterclass. My intention for you is that you leave here so fired up that it's so clear to take action. So often in life, we think, we think, we think, we're trying to get motivated. We're trying to get inspired. This is the masterclass where you do things. You do something about it. And I, I want to see your businesses skyrocket. I want to see your confidence skyrocket. I want to see your brand take a new vibe. Like this is the this is the time right now to say, all right, 2022, let's go. I, I want you to feel that fire by the end of this masterclass and all throughout the masterclass. So if you love this, if you're enjoying it, you can share it on your on your social media. We've got these awesome, like I'm in graphics. My team's gonna be creating quotes during the time. I'll be posting them in the group. You can reshare the quotes, redirect people back to the registration page so that they can join us. Uh, at any at any time that would be fantastic and i will be taking some time inside the group to talk a little bit about our affiliate program if you're already an affiliate the affiliate is open now which means uh, if anybody that is a new client someone that's never known the alpha fem world before comes to watch this master class and they end up buying something there's a way for you to make a commission you don't sell anything you just invite them to the free master class and if there's anything that they decide to purchase as a first purchase then you would get a commission on it so i will be doing a short live about that inside of alpha fem as well because we've had a lot of questions about affiliates. So a few things I want to tell you before we jump into the, the meat of this, because I'm, I'm so excited. I just want to dive in. 
I want to tell you in this group, there is a, a boundary, if you may, about posting. We don't let all the posts through. And the reason for this is because there's too many people in the group and it would become a spam group real quick. And I've built a business where the trademark for Alpha Femme is it's world class. And the group is world class. The people are world class. The communications are world class. So we do filter some of the posts. This means that any, any kind of selling inside of this group, not good. We want to build relationships. We want to give tips, advice, connection. This is like women really doing the work together. It's not like sneaky, sneaky trying to sell. So anything sneaky doesn't get let through. Anything bullying doesn't get let through. Anything racist doesn't let get let through. And you also get deleted from the group. So you've got to, you, you lead yourself like a powerful human in this group. And my team is like, they're like hawks. They're making sure that everything that comes in is squeaky clean. That's part of the Alpha Femme trademark. So what we're going to be doing for this masterclass to avoid needing for all the posts to be approved, we're also gonna be opening threads. So there's gonna be an Instagram connection thread for those of you who wanna be connected on Instagram, on LinkedIn. We're also gonna have celebration threads. We're gonna have threads about you know the homework for whatever it is that we're, we're doing in one module, a homework thread where you can write all about what you're doing and you can go see what other people are doing and so some people still may be posting during this event but we're not going to be letting a million posts through so what makes more sense is to post on the threads to make sure that everything is streamlined when you go to the guide section you'll get everything you need the replays will be posted in the guide section the quotes will be posted in the guide section any homework or anything you need will always be posted in the guide section so it will be very easy to find always you have received emails, but there's also the event section in the group where all the events are also planned. So if you want to go going to all of them, so if Facebook sends you alarms, you can also do that. Okay, let me see if I've got everything I wanted to say out of the way. Yes, that's it. So let's get started. What is trademark? So what's also exciting about this is I haven't talked about what this masterclass is about. I released that video, which I think kind of gives a vibe to the right people like Ooh, what is this? I want to be in this, but ultimately I haven't done a Facebook live that gives information. I wanted to start it together inside of this group here and, and build on it together. So the trademark masterclass is not just about like the process of getting a trademark. That's not what it's about. The trademark masterclass is about how to become a trademark, how to become the kind of person, brand, or business that people recognize distinctly by energy, by name, by vibe, by look, by sound, whatever it is. There are so many ways that we can set ourselves apart from the world in being ourselves and we can become a trademark. And that's what I want to help you do because the Alpha Femme brand is the Alpha Femme brand because of what I'm going to teach you over the next five days. You're going to get to understand the psychology behind our growth, the psychology, like how did we open a brand in 2017? The group you're in right now, for those of you who are in the Alpha Femme Facebook group, I opened this group in 2017 with 100 people. And it took me a month to gather those 100 people by doing Facebook lives and saying, I'm going to be starting a new group and I have a new brand coming. A hundred people were there for opening day. And we now have something like 23,000 members inside of the Alpha Femme group. And this has been built through what I'm going to teach you today, which is this long-term vision CEO of a global recognized, distinctly known brand that you can just rely on for so many different things. The Alpha Femme has given me so much beauty in my life, not only in my coaching business, but also in amazing opportunities to be, you know, on front page of magazine and a billboard and, you know, interviews and, and discounts at beautiful places, hotels, uh, restaurants, like the, the energy of this brand is now going mainstream. The outside world is getting curious. It's a recognized brand and it didn't take uh, it didn't take what I thought it would take. It took something very different. And so that's what I want to, I want to help you create for your brand. And you'll be, you'll get to see how much of this, how much of it do you want? You'll get to see how big you want your brand to be. It'll, it'll kind of help you figure out which parts are for you and what direction to go on your own. And I think it's a really cool springboard for what 2022 has in store. This is the spring. This is the time to start creating new. And this masterclass is the perfect timing to get all our creative juices flowing 
and, and take everything to the next level. So I'm very excited about that. All right. So the first thing I think we can all agree that social media is busy. There's a lot, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of businesses, and that means there's a lot of competition. The thing is the alternative is not so busy and not a lot of competition. Like take your brand off the internet. Who, who thinks they live in a very small town? I'm like curious. If you live in a really small town, name your town. Like this, you're like, not a lot of people here. This is a, like if you were to set up a shop there, it wouldn't have much traffic. Cabo, cool. Okay. We've got, okay, we've got a lot of them. A small town in Canada, Honey Grove, Dawson's Creek, Defiance, Rinkin, all the, I, 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 most of these I've never actually heard of before in my life. Ibiza, that's not a small town. <laughs> a nomad, Boise, Idaho. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I love Boise, Idaho. Boise, Idaho just like got my reticular activating system going. So if you decide that you are going to set up shop in Boise, Idaho, and you, you deck it out with the branding and you make it like unique. How easy is it going to be unique to not have a lot of competition in Boise, Idaho? Like there's not going to be two stores rivaling. Like you can make yourself very unique in Boise, Idaho, but how much foot traffic are you going to get? And so being online, a lot of us focus on the competition more than the opportunity. And when I started my, my journey online, I made a promise to myself that I would focus on the opportunity more than the competition. And it got me here. There was competition when I came online in 2015 or 16, when I just started doing Facebook lives and everybody was marketing and everybody was doing their thing. And I was like a little chicken nugget starting my journey. Like, I don't know what to do. These people are experts. There was already people making six figures, seven figures online. I was not. <laughs> and so there really only was two choices to focus on the opportunity or to focus on the competition. Had I focused on the competition, I don't think I would be here right now because there's so much of it. And we get lost in the competition. We get lost in the person who's making just as much as us, but their stuff looks better. We get lost in the person whose stuff looks like ours, but they make more. We get lost in the person who makes more and their stuff looks better and we just don't even know where to start. So it is important for us to choose. And I would like at least for the five days of this masterclass for you to get into your like CEO vibes. Like you run a business. I'm about to have a conversation with you about how to run a business, a business that can run with so much profit. It would make any company that any school were to dissect flip on its head. Like you make what profit you made, how much, like what growth we're going to, we're going to talk about unreasonable growth. We're going to talk about unreasonable results. We're going to talk about groundbreaking earth shattering makes no sense kind of business models. And we're going to have so much fun. And for that, you've got to look at the opportunity, not the competition, not because there isn't any, we're on the same page. There's competition. There's competition for all of us. There's opportunity for all of us. Now for us to look at this, there's one very important conversation for us to have. And that's the, co the conversation around copying or being afraid of copying or being afraid of being copied. Who has some kind of trigger around that in the industry, uh, the online world right now at all? You're terrified of being copied. You're terrified of copying. And you're annoyed with anybody who's copying or copied. Like the whole thing just bugs you like crazy. Okay. So I want to help you with this because for a long time, I fought against this and it stagnated my business. Like the whole thing just started to dwindle. It made me so bitter and resentful and upset because I was so afraid of copying people that I, I stopped myself from doing things. And then I would see other people copy and they'd become successful, which drove me insane. And then I would do fresh new stuff that took me all my energy to do. And it hadn't even been on the internet for a day. And someone else was already copying me. And I was like, ah, like this, this is not fair, right? What, do people have no integrity? Like what, what are we doing here? So I wanna have a, a higher level conversation with you that I think is gonna set you free. In the world of business, there is the factor of being unique, which is a very important factor. And we're going to talk about it. We're gonna talk about it. But there's another factor, which is about setting trends. The trend setter is the most effortless rich person. If you think of fashion, the trendsetters are the runway. 
What you find on the rack at Zara, it wasn't the designers at Zara that thought of this. They went to a fashion show in Paris and saw a model wearing Balmain and said, I know how to make this with different fabrics and a different vibe and put it on the Zara rack. What, by the time it's mainstream, it's a trend. The runway creates the art and then the trends are set. Now you have two choices and I wanna, I wanna invite you to like, I wanna invite you into this conversation. Like you are a big freaking deal. And if you get copied, then I would like you to embody for the rest of this masterclass that you are a freaking trendsetter. People cannot copy you if you really take what I'm gonna teach you here. They can look like you, but they can't copy you. Copying would mean equal in power, energy, income. It's not gonna happen. But you can be a trendsetter. You can be the kind of trendsetter that people know that what makes it to the mainstream started from you. You can do that no matter how much comp competition there is in the industry because it is the person that is the most embodied that sent, sets the trend. Even if something is a good idea and you change it up, you make it different, you do your own thing and that gets copied, whatever it is, it doesn't matter from this point forward. If you are the one that normally gets copied, you are the trend setter. If your fear is that you're terrified of copying other people, then we're going to look at it and we're going to get really clear about it, that you are like Zara and that you are getting inspired by Balmain on the runway. And so instead of this like dirty copying thing that everybody's talking about, we're going to look at this like actually business women, business, business humans, because I know there's men watching this as well in their own group. So we're going to look at this like a real business. There's always the trendsetters. And then there's also the people who make things mainstream. It may be your job to be a trendsetter. It may be your job to make things mainstream. Whatever it is, we make the industry better together. The online industry, the coaching industry, the online sales industry, the digital marketing industry, all of it. If we fight against each other, we make this entire thing the most low class thing that exists. You do not see high fashion fighting and saying this brand, blah, 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 this brand, blah, blah, blah. We're making the industry look bad. And if we want this to keep growing for all of us, online marketing, all that online advertising, digital marketing, consulting, mentoring, all of these things. If we want to keep these industries alive, we have got to step up our game. We've got to clean up the stories we have, and we've got to step up because these conversations are making the entire industry look a little silly. And we can do so much better than this. This is all just fear. But we can do better than this because other industries have dealt with this before us. And there's ways to make it outstanding and phenomenal. But there needs to be some respect for ourselves, for the trendsetters, for the people who make things mainstream. We want to create some sort of respect for ourselves, for the people, and for the industries that we're a part of. If we can do that, we are going to do big things. I will tell you right now, the coaching industry is meant to have to do $20 billion in 2022. That doesn't even count like network marketing, online sales, just anyone who uses online for selling, there's 2.9 billion people using Facebook right now. There's never been more of an opportunity than there is now. And we could self-destruct out of ego if we don't learn to be smart, wise, and respectful towards each other. We're going to turn it into a cat fight. So what I want to hold the energy for here is how do we not only create an industry that's going to support us, the online industry that's going to support us for generations to come and clean it up and set a standard so that the next generations can also benefit from what we're benefiting for, from. And how do we enjoy the process? Because, and you, like, let's be very honest, does social media stress you? When you see a person copy you, do you get a ball in your stomach? When you see someone come out with something that you were just thinking of doing, do you get a ball in your stomach? When someone's not nice to you on social media, you get a ball in your stomach. This is, this is real life and it can be very invasive. And so we imagine that we have an arm's length with it, but the truth is it's becoming more and more and more and more who we are, is that we live these like, lives that are integrated 
here and integrated online. So who we are online and offline, all of it, it all has to be aligned in order for the things to work. And so when we're stressed and overwhelmed online for things that don't light us up and we lose our power, energy, and our focus, it takes as much energy to be stressed about something as it does to be excited about something. So instead of being stressed that something can be taken away, instead of being stressed that something can be robbed from you, instead build a trademark. Now in the best case scenario, so super vulnerability, like I sometimes see things that you know look like things that I've created. And in the bottom of my heart, I wish that it would be like, and I learned this from dot, dot, dot. I wish, and I think it's, it's normal that we would wish that. But we can't control human beings. So there's nothing that can be done except for raising the bar, apart from people like us coming together and having conversations and actively setting a new standard. And then the world will calibrate. But we've got to set the tone. So I agree that we deserve to be recognized for our work, but we can't force people to recognize us. And as we become more and more embodied in this work, it becomes undeniable. There's a, there's a piece of time, a moment in time, where I worried when I saw my stuff on the internet that someone might think that I'm not the one that came up with it. But instead of worrying about that, I kept working on my craft. And I'm gonna be helping you over the next few days understand all the ways that you can do this for your business. But I continued to focus for myself on my own work until I became undeniable, until it became so recognized where the information was coming from. And I've really held space for my clients to do the same for themselves and their work. Even though it was copied momentarily, it, it's not long before you find out where the source is. You're such a powerful person. The source will be recognized if you don't give up on it. People will steal your ideas. We hear about this all the time in every industry. People get their ideas, ideas stolen. But the people who stay the course long enough to tell the story, the ones who believe in their brand time and time again, adjust, course correct, go back to the drawing board time and time again, and know there's no question that you will be known for your work it comes back full circle. Sometimes we're tested. Whole accounts get, get copied. This is so true. We have to, ha we have to report Alpha Femme accounts that are copied with my pictures, my images, my posts every week. My clients all the time, like, can you please report this? This isn't me, this isn't me. It happens. So it's not about eradicating that, unfortunately. It's about navigating it and continuing to be at the top of our game, at the top of our power, and not letting it get to our spirit. That creative spirit that you have, it would be such a shame to let the world get to it because someone tried to copy you or to shine a little less out of fear that someone's gonna copy you. It's like, you have this, you have so much to give to this world. And what I wanna help you navigate is all the ways that you get to stand out and to navigate these things as they happen so that one day you are recognized and that you are known the way you deserve to be. Today, I don't worry about that. And I still see people copy, but I know that everyone will know eventually. If it wasn't done from a place of alignment, everyone will know where it came from. And it doesn't even need to hurt the person who's copying because they get to be also grow in themselves and become a person who makes this work mainstream. There's a way to reframe it all. And there's a way to do it with more respect. There's a way to do it with more integrity and there's a way to do it with more care for ourselves, for each other, and for this incredible opportunity that we have. And that's the invitation that I wanna to bring to the table today with trademark. So when we think of a trademark, a lot of the times we think of protecting intellectual property. We think of protecting a sentence. We think of protecting a course name. We think of protecting like, this is mine, I bought it. You know, it's mine, I own it. We also might think of trademark as a visual. So the way it looks, 
You know, this is her trademark. She always signs this way. She signs, love always, Melanie Ann Lair. It could be a sentence. Hello, gorgeous ladies. Hello, gorgeous humans. It could be an energy. Like, what, what is your trademark? What can people know from you? And so there are so many different ways that your trademark is known and felt and seen and heard in this world. You get to create this trademark energy through your, the way that you sell. The way that you sell gets to be a trademark. The way that you market the way that you advertise. You smell nice. I love you. You're beautiful. You smell nice. You know, there's things that you're going to say that they become your trademark. The way you com you do conflict resolution, the way you communicate, the way you handle yourself on the internet. If you are a little edgy, you know, if you've got a sophisticated edge, whether, whether, or you're, whether you're a little sassy or whether you're just like the peacemaker or the Zen spiritual master, like there's a way there's a way that people recognize you. There's a way that people know the vibe. There's so many different parts of you that create your trademark. There's the words you use, the way you speak, the way it looks. There's the way you market, the way you advertise, the way you sell, the way you hold yourself, the way people expect you to behave based on the way that you set your standards in your life. There's quotes of yours that you may know of, like one foot in gratitude, one foot in desire for me, for you, for us. Pineapple season is coming. It's cool to be kind. Like there's so many things that people know me for and sentences they know me for. And I'll get tagged on social media for these sentences that have become a trademark. So when we look at the broad scope, magic on legs, there's so many things. When you look at the broad scope of how, how many ways could you be known? There are so many more ways that you could be known than ways you can be forgotten. And when you pay attention to that frequency, instead of the fear of being taken, instead of the fear of being erased, instead of the fear of being copied, if you claim yourself as a trendsetter, but as a person who can be known in so many different ways, your frequency will be stronger and more powerful than anything. How is it that there are literally, yeah, holy pickles, how is it that there are literally Louis Vuitton knockoffs? You can buy a bag that from the naked eye, it would be almost impossible to tell the difference. And still Louis Vuitton is thriving because there's a market for both. When you recognize there's a market for both, there are people that only buy from the trendsetters and there are people who only buy from mainstream. There isn't really a competition unless you let the competition creep into your soul. If you focus on the opportunity to be seen and to be known, everything gets to change for you. And there's things, this is so interesting because we tend to try to box ourselves into who am I? What do I do? What am I known for? Like the bio. Who here has ever had an issue writing their bio? Like you stare at it? those 150 characters, like trying to fit your entire life into 150 characters, like your head's gonna fall off. How do you define yourself in 150 character bio is beyond me. You can write something cool. You can write something snazzy. You can write something catchy, but can you define yourself in 150 character bio? No, but we're all trying to, but it doesn't matter. And then when people try to copy your bio, you're like, this was my bio, it's been copied. Or you might copy someone else's bio because you had no idea what to say. And you're like, let me change a few words from that. That looks good, I'll take that. The bio is one of our greatest stressors because it's trying to fit your entire identity in an immovable 150 character slot. That's not what trademarking yourself is about. The beauty of this work is we evolve over time. We get to have different seasons, different collections. We get to market different styles, different products. Our brand gets to be timeless or it gets to be ever changing based on who we are. And that also gets to be our trademark. So this course, this masterclass is going to give you such a, a permission to just play with who you wanna be as yourself, as the main face of your brand, as the CEO of your company, 
you're going to get to do some trial and error because the fact is most big names that we know now have had different iterations. When you look over the years, the style of who they are and how they've shown up has changed and you're going to get to do that as well. But when we spend so much time trying to figure out what we are, afraid of copying and terrified of being copied, there's an energy of lack that surrounds everything we're trying to build and it's very stressful. So what we want to do is elevate into this creator mode, elevate into this trend setter energy, elevate into this high frequency, high responsibility, high impact kind of business just for the next five days and see how everything lands. How do people recognize you on the internet? And how do you want them to? Do you want to be unique? Is that important to you? Are you willing to be a trendsetter? Or does that feel like too much work? And do you actually prefer to be an innovator, to take what already exists and change it a little bit? Even if it means some people might call you out for copying, even if it means the higher level version of you would give credit to anyway, but that you would innovate on the brilliance that you've learned. What's the higher energy version of what you've been doing? And so one thing that's certain is that whether it is Zara on the runway or whether it, rather it's you know the fashion designers that had the first initial idea or whether it's Zara in mainstream boutiques or whether it's the designer that put something on the runway in Paris or Milan, whatever it is, it's a business but it's gotta be an integrity in order to survive. And right now on the online space, we are, our biggest issue is not who is a trendsetter and who is a mainstream person. What's the issue is, is the line where the integrity gets blurred. And the only reason we ever blur integrity lines is because we're afraid. Afraid that we're not enough. Afraid that if people knew the full story, they wouldn't choose us anymore. And so I want you to be so empowered to know that your truth and the truth story of how you're choosing your brand is more valuable than the sneaky truth you think is protecting you from being second best. Zara exists even without fresh ideas. H&M exists even without fresh ideas because they have a pricing, they have a strategy, they have a marketing thing that is perfect for who they're speaking to and see the high-end boutiques that charge a fortune still are successful because there's integrity in the marketplace. And so my call for all of us on this, and I'm, I wish the whole entrepreneurial online world could be in this class right now. Like the most important thing, if you are online in any kind of industry, whatever it is, the industry that you're in online, have respect for the online industry and for the other industries online. It will skyrocket your brand. Unless who you want to be is a person who destroys other people on the internet, in which case, I don't think you're going to enjoy this masterclass at all. So this here, who I am really speaking to are the people who want to create extraordinary change and extraordinary opportunities for the rest of the world and who want to be their absolute best selves while they do that, that they build something they're so proud of that their name is on this thing that they've built and they're like, gosh, I am proud of me. That we are walking side by side, supporting each other and that there is no need to look at over your shoulder that instead you trust that there's space for everyone because we bring the integrity piece back to this industry, this online industry. This is the most important piece. If we want this to be long-term growth and evolution. So the beautiful thing about a trademark is you can either decide what your trademark is or the world decides for you. There is no such thing as not being branded or not having a trademark. It's just either you decide what it is or the world decides for you. In these next five days, what I want for you is that you decide. What do you want to be known for? In all the spheres of trademarking, whether it's how, how are you known for your customer service? How are you known for your service delivery? How are you known for your product? How are you known for your sales, advertising, branding? How are you known for your visual effects? How are you known for these things? How many of them are important to you? Which ones do you want to prioritize? Because sometimes we try one. And when that one doesn't put us on the mark, when that one doesn't put us in the spotlight, we imagine we're just not cut out for this. But the truth is there are so many different ways that you can be known. 
And there's so many different ways to build a business. When I first started Alpha Femme, I did not have a big audience. So customer service wasn't a problem. Every person that walked into my life, I was so excited. It was the best, it was like, I mean, there was time for everybody. It was hard for me to get a hundred people inside of this Alpha Femme group. So you can imagine every inbox message. I was on it like a rash. I was so excited for every person who came into my inbox. I wanted to strike up a conversation with every single person who was new to my world. I was like, ah, I was so excited. And so my trademark back then would have been absolute hands-on connection and maybe more of like a boutique style business, you know, not a lot of clients, but world-class support, hands-on, like you've never seen, like that was the trademark. My graphics weren't necessarily out of this world. I did them myself. I knew, I knew the vibe I wanted. I did my best, I, I, but I did everything myself. Even the processes weren't great. Like I used to do, I didn't do master classes back then. I did like a webinar style thing. So they were more so information sessions about my, pro my programs and people would pay me with a PayPal link, like paypal.me links. I didn't have anything. I didn't have a sales page. People just knew me because we built the relationship so strong before they bought from me. I didn't need systems. I built alpha femme to a million dollars a year without any employees because I didn't need them. I, my first million dollar year was with 238 uh, clients or something like that, 280 something, less than 300 people, less than 300 people for a million dollar year. I can handle less than 300 people. I have one conversation a day and I've, talk, I've talked to everybody and I could probably have 10. It was so easy because what I built my business on and what my trademark was, was the care, the love, the connection, and the world-class product. That has always been the thing for me. I wanted my work, my programs, my offers, everything I put out there, no matter when, no matter how, the whole time, the product was world-class. So we worked on referrals. People trusted so much. It's like, they know their people are in good hands. They talk to me, they know me, they know the product is good. So it's like, everything was built on referrals at first. Then we started branching out. It was only in 2020, that we started changing the visual branding of Alpha Femme. We actually only started with the, 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 the logos, the way they look now and the animations in 2020. And that became a trademark of the brand. Having employees that build the connection because I can't be available as much as I could then when there was only hundred people in the group or 300 people in the group, it was easier now with 20,000 people plus Instagram. We didn't even have Instagram at first. We only built Instagram in the spring of 2018. So there was so much that added that now I need customer service. I want, I want when you message me and I'm not available, someone's there, someone that cares. So our trademark is world-class customer service. That never went away. My level of care never went away, but I couldn't be the same amount of care with the same amount of customer service I needed to choose. So did I want to stay the customer service person of my brand or did I prefer to be the one that came and showed up live? Because I could have put all my programs automated, but spent a lot of time in my inboxes. But I thought I prefer to run the programs live and get support in the inboxes, right? So you're going to figure out what are, what are, what is my way in all these? So I'm going to, I'm going to tell you the ones that I've come up with that I feel are the most like important ones which are the names of your programs, the names of your, of your branding, the name of your company, like that's a trademark, your visuals, so your branding, or like which, you know, it's as simple as, if you look at my timeline on Facebook, you'll see what backdrops I use. If I'm writing a little quote on Facebook, you know, they give you those like short options as backgrounds. I have a couple that I use, that's it. Even that, it's like, which ones are you? What are your visuals? How do people recognize? What kind of photography do you have? Do you, do you edit your pictures? Is there a certain style, a light to them? Do you have a certain color palette? You know, all that, so the visual. Then there's your values. You can't be everything for everyone. You've gotta have certain values, things that are like undeniable for you. What are, what are your trademarked values? 
What are your trademark systems? So what is a, a part of your business that is, I know exactly how, what my system is around a sale. I know exactly what my system is around the launch of a new product. I know exactly what my system is around a consultation. I know exactly what my system is like streamlined trademark systems for your business. Trademark in your advertising, in your marketing, in your sales, in your communication, and in your conflict resolution. If you are an online business and you don't have a strategy for conflict resolution, I highly suggest you create one. Because the, the bigger you get, the more valuable that's going to be to already have a system for that. So these are all the ways you can already start thinking to yourself. If I haven't decided, then however I have acted has become my trademark for many people online. So what's the experience of a person in my inbox? That's your trademark for customer experience. What's a person's experience when they look at my brand? Well, that's your trademark experience. So what would be really fun today is to take some time and look at your brand in all these distinct areas and really look at all the, all the little parts of your business that make your business. Which parts have you not even been paying attention to? Which parts have you been leading with? And yes, I can, I'll say the list again, and I'll also post it in the group for you as well. But the name or like the, the quotes or the, like the, the, the language, if you may, the visuals, the values, the systems, advertising, marketing, sales, communication, and conflict resolution. And so this is going to be, I'll post it in the group for you so it'll be easy for you to copy paste. If you want to have a meeting with yourself, if you don't have a team yet, have a meeting with yourself. Take yourself out somewhere, sit down and think about this. You're building a business that has the potential of being so powerful. You're building a, an online presence that's just so powerful. And if you don't think of these things, then part of your image is left on the table. What we want is to regain power over the image that we're building. We want to be able to steer the values, the communication, the marketing, the advertising, all in the same direction. Because what matters and what starts to be really powerful, and this you'll be able to see across the board for every company that has a powerful trademark, like when you hear Google, when you hear Apple, when you hear Yves Saint Laurent or any big brand that you know in the, in the world, is that it actually compounds your branding, your advertising, your marketing, your selling. If it's all in alignment, it starts to compound. So the magic of the compound energy is when everything you do is so beautifully aligned, people start to get it. Like, I recognize this brand. I recognize this company in the way they do all that they do. And that's how you start to funnel energy in a very directed way. When everything is kind of done as it, as it comes, and you're just kind of responding to everything as it comes, instead of responding and then creating a strategy or responding and then creating a trademark, your energy starts to get split. And there's just a little bit of a, an open gap, an open gap, an open gap, an open gap, and the energy leaks. So what I want to invite you to look at is how do you streamline all the parts of your business so they're in alignment? What you do, what you say, how it looks, how it feels, how you do it, when you do it, the way it is, all of it just kind of works. And then your business is so much easily, so much more easier to distinguish. So much easier to distinctly know, like I recognize this brand in the energy, in the, in the wording, in the visuals, in all of it. And that's where the power really lies. So I'm seeing a few questions about what is conflict resolution. Conflict resolution is like, if someone is not happy, if they are rude, you know, like there's communication on a regular basis. Like how do you communicate to the world unprompted? And then there's how you communicate with the world when you've been poked. Sometimes we have two different ways. You may have this like super powerful, like sales speech or marketing speech or advertising speech in your power. And then when you get poked, <laughs> this, 
the Kraken is unleashed. <laughs> There's no branding behind the conflict. It's like, yeah, but that didn't count. Did you see what they said? So it's like, that also needs to be taken into consideration. There's, it's all of it. It's who we are in our power. It's who we are in our conflicts and it's who we are in all of the things. And as we start to build on all of these things, the brand gets recognized and, it, and there's a certain power. So, <laughs> at least the crack it. So what I want to, to bring us all to right now is the fact that there are more millionaires and multimillionaires that are being made online every day right now than in, in the history of the world. It's not what it used to be. It's not as hard as it used to be. There really is an opening for us right now to really reclaim wealth. There is no big hoops we need to jump through so much the way it was. We don't need to wait for someone else to put us on their stage. We don't need to wait. We don't need to wait for someone else to build a platform for us. We don't need to wait for someone to pick us up. We don't need to wait for someone to decide that we're worthy and sign us for something. We build the stage, but we build the stage on our own foundations. It's our confidence. It's our posture, it's our decision, it's our trademark that creates this. And the focus of building your own stage and deciding the person you're gonna be when you stand on it is what creates the world to agree. If there's no focus, it takes such a long time. Anything in life you build without focus takes longer. Try to build a house without focus. They'll just have pieces of wood lying around for years. How many projects do you have around your house that you haven't finished because they were not the focused attention? If you, if you put focused attention on this, you can build something in the next two years, two to three years that sets you up for, for freedom for the rest of your life. What, wherever you are, because I work with people at all kinds of levels. I, I work with people who are just starting their business, but mo most of all, I'm working with people who've had a six figure year already a multiple six figure year already, but they're looking at these seven figures, entrepreneurs like, gosh, that, that leap feels so big to me. For the women who start so early on their adventure with me, I'm so excited for you because you get to see the world that's available for you from the first day you open your eyes to it. And that is such an incredible thing. For those of you who are just getting started, you've seen a level of success and you're just like, what are all these powerful people doing like how how are they doing this you know and for the ones who are already powerful and doing incredible things but you're getting maybe a little bored you know once you've started achieving all your dreams and this is the real truth and all of you can listen to this that wherever you are on your on your journey the real power at the end of all this is to love our lives and the circumstantial stuff is not always the key you can build a business that makes you so much money you can end up in a relationship, even though you've wished for one forever, and you can still feel overwhelmed, upset, frustrated. So it's like what we really want is to build these businesses and build freedom and joy and expansion for ourselves, that we keep the passion alive for this work, that we don't cheapen the industry by fighting, that we actually enjoy the work we do. And if we all raise the bar, we are creating an industry that will support us our nervous systems, our peace of mind, our quality of life, our joy, our well-being for the rest of, of time, for as long as you want it. But if this, if this becomes another super competitive, everybody trying to tear each other down, everybody, you know, it just becomes another stressful thing. And the whole goal of this is to build business that are outside of that paradigm. So with the focus on the artistry, where I'm taking you with tr this trademark masterclass is the art of business, not the business, logical business that you would learn in a book, not the, the normal thing you would expect in a classroom at a business school, the art of business, the record selling off the shelf of business, the raving, the raving fans in a stadium of business, the video clips that go viral of business, the art of business, so that you can be your own unique self and that you can spice up whatever idea you have, whether it's brand spanking new 
or whether you want to take something that already exists, put your spit on it and make it mainstream and do that with class. There's space for all of us if we do it with integrity, respect, and care for ourselves, for the people that we're in the world with, and for this industry, for this online industry. So first thing today, so simple, sit with yourself and really ask yourself how I do all these things. And I'm going to post it in the group for you. How do I do my visuals on a scale of one to 10? Like, am I mind blown by them? Am I like, they're pretty good. Do I care about that? Do, am I happy with the way they are? If I'm happy with the way they are, then what am I calling this? You know, is it like, so mine is high fashion luxury. Mine is shabby chic. Mine is DIY. Like you get to have your brand be your brand. It's not true that the only way to create a successful business is to have all world-class luxury things. That's only for luxury brands. If you don't want a luxury brand, if you have a DIY company, if you're more so to speaking to families, you might want a different kind of brand. Like, are you, are you happy with what you're putting out there? And what could you call it? Like, what's your vibe? Let's try to name it for yourself. Like, what's your edge? What's your vibe? What are we calling it? What about the values of your company? What's the most important? You know, for, for some, it might be world-class communication, customer service, and results. For other people, it might be lightheartedness, relationships, and freedom of speech. For other people, it might be affordable, um, honest, and funny. For other people, it might be high ticket, very, you know, boutique style, so exclusive. Like, look, look and see because there's space for all of it. But if you don't think about it, it will be thought about for you and you lose the opportunity to build your trademark. Have fun with this. If it's possible for you to go somewhere that's in alignment with the brand, somewhere fancy if you're fancy, somewhere rebellious if your brand's about being rebellious, somewhere bold if your brand's about being bold, somewhere sensual if your brand's about being sensual, like where do you want to go that really makes it feel like you're sitting in your environment? And go think about this. Over the next few days, we're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to bring the spice back into your life. There's one thing in common for most of us that started this entrepreneurship journey is because we profoundly knew it would make us happier than what we were doing before. And then sometimes we forget that that's why we changed and we recreate all the things we were trying to escape from here. And that's not what we want to do. I want us to raise the bar, bring the joy back, bring the fun back, bring the energy back and do this for fun, for money, for fame, for whatever it is that you want to do it for but for the reason you started in the first place. Don't forget that spice because whatever was your igniting force will take you further if you fan those flames, if you keep building that fire, the fire that got you here and that got you started in here. Like what got you starting here? Why did you want to do this in the first place? And how is your brand aligning with that right now? How are you in alignment with that? Are you a walking trademark representing that right now? And more of how is gonna come, but let's just start looking at where are we at with it right now? I'm gonna create a thread also about it. So if you feel like you wanna talk about it, if you wanna go see what everybody else is doing, like we're gonna have a thread for this. I'm also gonna be posting on social media, like let's stay connected. If you're not following me on Instagram right now, uh, it's Alpha Femme is my main Instagram, Melanie Ann Layer. I also post really more behind the scenes of my life and reels and silly things on there. So if you would like to follow me on there, that's great. If you're not connected to me on Facebook, just add me as a friend on Facebook, Melanie Ann Layer, or my business page, Melanie Ann Layer Alpha Femme. Let's stay connected because I'm going to be posting all over the place, building the vibes for this. And I do want to say this masterclass, because it's free and because I like to like bring the vibe, there's going to be draw like a draw draws of different things products services we're going to make this a really fun masterclass. like i want to have fun with you i'm in the mood for fun there's a lot of heaviness and we've got to hold that but i'm all about duality and i'm in the mood for some fun i'm in the mood for some lightheartedness i'm in the mood for some game changing money making fun business building ideas success collaborations like i'm in the mood for a good time and so I'm going to bring the vibes for that over the next five days. I'm going to invite you to come play with me. Um, most of our draws 
our participation draws. So if you're following me on all these platforms and you're commenting on whatever posts that I'm posting publicly, your name's gonna go in the draw. My team's gonna be checking out all the names. There'll be other things that show up during this masterclass. But if you connect to me outside this masterclass, if I can see that you're involved, I, I'm, I always wanna bring involved people into more in my life. So come all in, make time for this. We're gonna have a really great time. If you feel like you wanna invite people and you want an affiliate link, we're gonna post the affiliate. Uh, link inside this group as well. Also, anyone who comes and who decides to buy something from the Alpha Femme brand as a first purchase, you would get a commission on. Make sure to read the terms and conditions to understand how it works, but I'll also do a live in here for you. Let's just have fun. This is what I want. This is easy. It's easy to plug into good vibes. It's easy to plug into bad vibes. It's necessary to do both. So let's go. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for being here, and I'm excited for the next module already. I'll see you on the internet.